With Basel World 2019 fast approaching, the annual ritual of guessing what Rolex is going to release this year begins. Here are our expectations, wants and dreams for this year's Rolex Basel World releases. This is less a dream and more a bit of admin on Rolex's part. The tried and true calibre 3135, having been in active service since 1988, is finally being updated, offering a power reserve extended to 70 hours, more rapid winding from the auto rotor, higher efficiency for less gear train losses and the new Chronogy escapement, fashioned in skeletonized nickel phosphorus to reduce weight and boost magnetic resistance. It's already being used in the Datejust and Sea Dweller series and is due to appear in the revised Submariner 126610LN also. Same with the GMT equipped Calibre 3285, updated from the 3186, which should be featuring in the GMT Master 2 126710BLNR and LN, just like it does in the BLRO. Unless those particular models get completely discontinued instead. More on that in a moment. The GMT Master II was the first watch in the Rolex lineup to premiere the ceramic bezel commonplace throughout the brand now, first in gold, then in steel, both featuring a splash of green on the dial and hands. This was interesting for two reasons. One, because the GMT Masters before it featured a red GMT hand, not a green one, and two, because coloured text on a Rolex dial was few and far between. That could be changing again, reversing the 116710LN's coloration back to red, with or without coloured dial text, effectively discontinuing the green from the steel collection altogether. This will likely coincide with the introduction of the Calibre 3285 mentioned before, along with the revised model number 126710LN. But the speculation has yet to end on the revision of the GMT Master Collection, and now we're headed into the territory of crossing fingers and wishing on stars, because there is a very real possibility that the ever popular BLNR with the blue and black bezel could end up discontinued in favour of something new, yet old, the RONR. In Rolex parlance, that's rouge noir or red black, colour combination known affectionately as the Coke. This pairing hasn't been seen since the discontinuation of the pre-ceramic 16710 and has been at the very top of every GMT Master fan's wish list since the ceramic red and blue Pepsi version emerged in steel in 2018. There's some good news and bad news regarding this particular speculation. If it's made, the process Rolex uses to dye the bezel, applying the colours to the single piece ceramic ring from light to dark, should result in a bright, rich red rather than the slightly dull, almost purple hue seen on the BLRO. The bad news? It'll probably be released in precious metals first. We're still a while off any major update to the Submariner design, which has gone a little ignored of late by the Rolex design team. This will hopefully change with the introduction of rose gold and steel and rose gold editions of the classic dive watch. It's already available in yellow gold and in a combination of yellow gold and steel, and even in white gold, but we're yet to see the warm tones of rose gold featuring on the Submariner just yet. The GMT Master II, Yachtmaster, Daytona, Skydweller, Daydate, Datejust, Cellini and Pearlmaster are all available with rose gold in some form or another. The Submariner is likely next. What is unlikely is that we'll see the same blend of rose gold and brown like we've had with the GMT Master II CHNR on this revised Submariner, but a 126615LN in rose gold with black ceramic bezel is a strong contender for release this year. Patents have been uncovered, demonstrating a unique and interesting approach to the annual calendar that we sincerely hope will make it into the day date. The Skydweller with annual calendar and GMT displays is superb, 
and a marvel of ergonomics with its ring command bezel control, but its busy dial can be off-putting for those looking for something a little more restrained. This patent suggests a different functionality to the Skydweller's clever hour mark a month display, incorporating a smaller separate number wheel below the date that can be viewed when the date is at a certain position. It's likely that a ring command system would engage this feature, allowing the user to set the month and then return the display to just the day and date when finished to maintain the pleasingly clean aesthetic. Here's hoping. That's our take on Rolex expectations for Baselworld 2019, from some dead cert to perhaps a little bit of wishful thinking. I'm sure there will be a few more surprises to look forward to, but we'll just have to wait and see what those are. What are you hoping for from Rolex this year? Let us know in the comments below. Discover more exceptional watches at watchfinder.co.uk if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If there are any other watches you'd like to see reviewed, please let us know in the comments below.